Okay, I, I'm gonna make what I call my frisbee burger. Okay. First, I start off with a soft tortilla, I guess you'd call it. Okay. This one right here has to happens to be a Spanish. No, uh, not Spanish. We'll say it right, spinach. Spinach herb that's happened to be carb balanced, keto friendly, doesn't have to give me anything. Whatever you whatever you choose. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little pan. We're gonna put uh, avocado oil. I'll put just a shot of in this old pan. A little shot of avocado oil. Okay. Kind of mix it up a little bit. All right. Now I have a quarter, about a quarter pound of uh, ground meat. Okay. And a pork of an onion, a little bit of an onion. Okay. And anybody that knows me sees my cooking. You know, I gotta put some Tony Sastry's Creole seasoning on everything. Okay, so I got a little of that in there. All right, now we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna make our burger. And like I said, we call this a frisbee. A frisbee burger. It's quick and easy, and uh, you're gonna find it's uh, very tasty, very good. It's, the main thing is it's fast. Real quick and easy. Okay, we're just gonna put all that together. Okay, now, now we're gonna take our business in here. And we're gonna put a little oil on it. Put it down in our pan. All right, now I'm gonna put this. Put this on top of the. Taco chicken. Oh, yeah, one called burrito. All right. And then we're going to gonna smash this down. Okay. I'm going to get this about, I would say, less than a half inch, maybe, you know. Okay, just smash it down. I'm going to turn our fire on. Okay. Start to heat it up. Now the pan was cold. It's going to take a minute for this to heat up. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is, we're going to flip it. But uh, right now we're just letting it heat up. I could have preheated it a little bit, it would make it a lot It'll went a lot easier, faster. But uh, in a couple minutes, we'll be eating a, a frisbee burger. Okay. So now, let it heat up. Let me turn on my, uh, my big fan. All right, it's heating up. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do is we're going to flip it. We can do our hands or we can take a spatula. We're going to flip it and put the meat side, meat side against the frying pan. Okay. All right. You're going to hear it start to sizzle. Okay, it's been cooking about a minute, I guess. Let that cook a little while. Now, meanwhile, while that's cooking, we uh, come down and fire this to hell. Meanwhile, back in the room, we cut up a tomato. Okay. We 
should cook pretty good because of the uh, cold the heat in. But it smells good. Let's right, so we'll cook for a minute. Make sure it doesn't sit. Come down on the fire with the hair. Probably been cooking, I'm guessing a minute and a half. I don't know what should be thinking, it's about two minutes. I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, I'll set it for, for two minutes. Under there. Flip it over. All right. All right. Let it cook for a second. I'm gonna flip it back over again. Let it cook meat side down a little bit more. Okay, we need a little bit more on it. All right. Meat side down. Mm, smelling good. Like I said before, it's a frisbee burger. Uh, what I like about them is quick and easy. In a couple minutes, you, you got your burger. Okay. Now, meanwhile, while this is going on, you put what you want. Uh, I like uh, mayo. I like a little squeeze mayo I squirt on there. Maybe a little mustard. Depending on how thick you put your, your patty. And how long it's going to take to cook, of course. And if you, and how you like the burger. Some people like them medium rare. Or some people like them well done. And how long you want to cook your burger. It all depends on what you want. Okay. It is what's smelling good in here. Flip her over again. Alright. See, that's cooked. That meat is cooked. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, we can let it go a little bit more. It's got a little red in it. We can go a little bit more if we want. I'm going to go a little bit more. And one thing about it, it's, it's quick and easy. And you're down the road with the you down the road with the, uh, with the burger in a minute. Alright, let me get a plate. Now we gotta write a paper plate. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely done well. That's done good. Okay. So what we're going to do is put this in our plate. Put this aside. I call it a, a, a frisbee burger. Now you can do it. You can fold. You can fold this in half, which makes a a real good. Uh, that's how I eat it. I fold it in half. But before we fold it, 
I'll put a little mayo. Okay, put a little shot of mayo on there. Okay. Ketchup, mustard. Your preference, whatever you want to put on there. I like a lot of mayo on mustard, my brother. And just a little shot of mustard. Shot of mustard on there. Okay. Then we're going to take out tomato. Okay. We're going to put a little tomato on here. Okay. A little tomato. I like to put a, like a salad or, or some greens on it. This just happens to be a spring mix. Okay, I'll take a little, a little bit of that and put it on there. Okay, we're going to ground out our burger. Okay, this is most probably the leaves. Okay, put a little of that on there. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is, we're going to fold this in half, okay, and it's, this is going to make our, our burger, okay, get where I can do this, this is a paper plate, so I don't want to stick it on top of the burner, directly, anyway, put it right here, okay, and then we just simply take this, Fold it in two, and you have got. I put a lot of greens on there. You have got a burger. I'm talking about a good eating burger. Okay, there she is. Let me take a bite of this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Tastes good. Got a good flavor. Okay, it's that simple. And I'm not wasting a, I'm not dirtying a lot of plates. And that's how we make a frisbee burger. So boys and girls, that is good. Hmm, I have half of it eaten. <laughs> I'm hungry. For that, that's how we do it here. I'm going to make a quick and easy frisbee burger. <laughs>